What's going on YouTube? John here with Dig That Beep. So uh, as you know, all the Dig That Beep crew members, Gary, Charlie, Mike, myself, we've all been on vacation. It's like one, one week is Charlie, one week is Gary, then it was Mike, and then this past week was me. Um, we were fortunate enough to get enough content for two videos, which was the last two Wednesdays you guys watched, but was not able to get out this weekend and make a video with Mike, because of course I was on vacation. So what I'm gonna do is show you what I found at the beach metal detecting. And the reason I don't record when I'm on vacation at the beach is simply I'm on vacation. You know, that's kind of my time, my one week per year where I just get to clear my mind. But I do want to share with you what I found. I had a pretty good uh, vacation as far as what I found metal detecting. Not a lot of gold, but I did get a good bit of silver. And I got some questionable items that we're going to test live with my gold silver test kit. But it was a fun time with the family. Really nice just to get away for a week. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what that's what we're gonna do right here. A little bit different, I know, but at least I'm gonna bring you guys something. And we gotta take her home tomorrow. That's my son's eight and a half foot boa constrictor. I keep her up here so people can keep an eye on her. She's a beast. She's fat and healthy, and she's sweet. So yeah, that too. Well, let's take a look here. So as far as coins, I'm you know I've detected at low tide, so I didn't find a lot of coins. A little bit. I did get a good bit of glasses. These are just cheap $15, $20 Walmart glasses. These though are Revo, R-E-V-O. They retail for 220 bucks. Still in really good condition. My son has already cleaned those. So there you go for glasses. I got this one little zipper pull. And I'm also gonna put pictures up of all this jewelry after I show you the pieces. Got a little ring here. This is all non-precious, I know, so that's what we're starting with. Got this little ring. Nothing great about it. Plated, gold plated earring. I think this is stainless. It's a little cross. It's not marked. Fake earring. These little two eyeballs stacked on top of each other with a gold plate on it. My daughter liked this, so she'll probably get that. Another little fake aluminum ring. This is a little spin ring. I didn't even know that until I went over to Mike's earlier and was looking at everything I found. And he's like, you know this thing spins, right? I was like, no, I didn't. But it does, so that's pretty cool. I got this tungsten carbide ring. Then I got this, uh, another tungsten ring. So that was all the fake stuff. And again, I'll show you pictures of those right now. Now getting on to the better stuff. So this here, my wife likes this one. It is a stamp, it's sterling. Nice little ring with a stone, probably a fake stone. Just a stone that big, you'd think they'd probably put it on gold, but I'll eventually check it. This here is also stamp 925, it's gonna be an earring. Another stamped 925 earring. Another ring that's stamped 925. Hmm. 
These are not stamped, but I got a feeling this one's silver. This one may be silver. This is an earring that looks like it could be gold and silver, so we're gonna test it. Then I got this, it says Modern Out. So I, so I done a search on that, and that's actually a, jew, a jewelry maker, and um, I found this exact piece that used to be attached to a bracelet. We'll test it because it's not stamped on here, it's probably stamped on the actual bracelet itself, but it's supposed to be silver, so we're gonna test that one too. And then this one, it's stamped Sterling or no, Sterling or 925, I can't remember, same thing. But what's so cool about this one is one side of the little clasp here says Sterling or 925, the other side says Tiffany & Company, which is really cool. Even though it's broke, it'd be an easy fix, but I've seen these selling used for like $100, $150, just because of the name, which is crazy. That's my third piece of Tiffany & Company jewelry I found. I found another ring at the beach, same spot, Hilton Head, that was Tiffany & Company, and then one in the yard locally, so. But that's my good stuff. I know for sure this is all silver. These right here, I got a test for silver. I'm pretty sure that one is. This one should be, I'm on the fence about that one. And this one, I'm really hoping it's gold. So it'd be the only piece of gold I got this year at the beach but it puts me one up, or one more up. They don't have any gold this year, which I think is funny, on Mike, Charlie, and Gary. But anyways, let's uh, let's get to testing this stuff. And I'm gonna actually set this up on the little tripod. It'll be easier when we're testing this, so hang tight. Try to do it like this, see what it looks like. I'm gonna show you something a lot of you don't know. This was shared with me by a friend, but they do make acid for silver, but if you take an 18 karat gold acid, scratch the silver on the block, and it turns like a purplish blue, that means you've got sterling. So you can also test uh, silver with 18 karat gold test acid. So just in case you didn't know that. But here we go. This is the one I'm on the fence about. It's a little piece signed. It, you know, it's got the weight, and it came in the right numbers, but. It just looks a little iffy, so we're gonna test it here. I'm gonna put a scratch on it. Got a good little bit of material there, but let's let's see what we've got here. And I don't know if you can see it, but that's turning bluish purple. So that is silver. So that's good. Let's wipe that off. Now the next one, this here, it's a little piece, the modern out piece of jewelry. Let me get a scratch on it. That one's hard to scratch, but it's really thin. There we go. It should be silver. It says it's silver on their website. A little more acid. Yeah, I can see it turning now. You can see that bluish purple color. So that's definitely silver as well, so that's good. This one here, I'm almost positive, just the color, the weight, the feel, just the, everything about that says silver. But we're gonna test it. Yeah, that's gonna be silver for sure. Yep. You can see that bluish purple color right there under it. So that's definitely silver. So, so far, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of confirmed silver. And this is the one right here. I'm hoping for gold. We're gonna make three marks. We're gonna test it with a 10 karat gold acid, a 14 karat gold acid, and an 18 karat gold acid. And let's see if it holds up to any of them. So I'm gonna get three marks on here. Hmm, it's not wanting to mark. It may be junk. Oh, there we go. It was just hard to get it to on the end there. It's kind of like a silver gold twirly type thing. So I'm trying to make sure I get it on the actual gold. 
if it's got gold, the other is going to be white gold or silver. So I'm going to have to mark it weird though. Got two marks. I got one there and one there. Let's do one more right here. All right. So let's go ahead and get the 10 karat gold acid right here. I'm gonna put it on this mark here. So far it's holding, which is good. Let's get some 14 karat gold acid. Put it on this one right here. And let's see. Gone there. So indeed, it's gonna be a 10 karat gold earring. I don't know if the little silver, this wrap with it's actually silver or white gold. But either way, it's another piece of gold on the ear. And I am happy to have it, as always. So all in all, really good beach vacation hunt. Um, eight pieces of precious metals. A nice $220 pair of sunglasses. People do not get in the ocean with your sunglasses, with your jewelry, because you will lose it. And this just kind of shows that. You know, I love beach metal detecting. Um, it's just different from what we do here every day, you know, or every week for you guys on the YouTube channel. But it's really fun. And the whole thing with it is what I've learned. You know, I think if I got to do it more often instead of once a year, I'd really grasp the concept and, you know, the ins and outs. But what works one night may not work the next night and vice versa. What doesn't work tonight may work tomorrow night. Um, the stuff's just always, always changing. It's just weird. Um, again, I don't do it enough to really pick up on it, but I do enjoy doing it once a year when I'm down there with the family. But that's my video. I know it's something different, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. And hopefully I'll have some stickers and stuff available soon. Our new treasure pouch that's coming out. Some scrub brushes, spray bottles. So a lot of stuff coming. But as always, I can't thank all of you enough for watching. Um, thanks to all our patrons. If you haven't checked us out on Patreon, please do. It helps us out in making the videos. If you need metal detectors, equipment, whatever, reach out. I'll treat you right. I'll take care of you before and after sale, I promise. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Turn on the bell for notifications. Peace.